again? How are you dancing? No. Can you show me how you were dancing? You were dancing earlier. No, Mom. You were dancing in the bathroom. Good morning, you guys. Happy day 12 of vlog, not vlogtober, vlogmas. And as usual, it's about 9 o'clock in the morning and I am here making my coffee. Today, I decided to do, um, to make an espresso coffee instead of my usual Keurig because I only had one pod left, so why not, right? And if you guys can't tell here, um, Rizo's head is popping somewhere uh, below the counter. He is bugging me and wanting me to let him make my coffee. But since I haven't trained him to use the Nespresso machine, I said no. Or as you can see, I'm just ignoring him and trying to like push his arm away because of the hot coffee right next to me. So after Rizo and I had our breakfast, I decided I'm going to clean my kitchen like usual. So here I am emptying the recycle and the garbage. Alright you guys, as you can see here, I am squinting because I don't have my glasses. I'm trying to turn the TV on and needing to keep Rizo busy because I am ready to tackle all of the mommy jobs that needs to be done today. I have a lot on my list so it's about 10 o'clock and I need to get started. And as you can see here, Rizo's busy and so I started cleaning the kitchen. Um, Luckily, I don't have too much to put away, so this didn't take too long. Um, I was finishing up doing the dishes, but then Rex called, so the recording had to hey, stop. Rizzo, um, like I said, the recording stopped earlier in the middle of me finishing up my dishes. Um, Rex called because he wanted me to follow up on some of our Amazon orders. Apparently, one of our orders... Um, wasn't delivered where it's supposed to get delivered to. Um, how am I going to start this? We, we used to always have our packages delivered to our house, but ever since we had two packages stolen, we decided we're not going to do that anymore. We're just going to get everything delivered to the Amazon locker um, close to our house. But for this specific package, it wasn't delivered because apparently they didn't have any lockers available. So when the delivery person attempted to put the stuff in the locker, they didn't do it because there's nothing. So what Rex wanted me to do today is to follow up, call Amazon, and check on the status of that package or if they can they can just deliver it to my house since i'm going to be home all day anyways so that's what i need to do i'm probably going to spend about uh, 15 minutes trying to get a hold of amazon people and trying to um ar make an arrangement with them to see how we're going to be uh we're going to get our package it's about 10:25 right now so i want to get something done at least one room done today uh and my goal the, uh, the room i wanted to tackle today is rizo's room because he has a lot of clothes that needs to be given away and i want to i, I want to just do that today all right guys bye Alrighty, so we are in Rizo's room right now. What I'm doing here is just making his bed. I am not gonna um, laundry his bed sheets and pillowcases right now because I just changed that. And then turning the camera around, I am picking up all of the bags of his old clothes that won't fit him. I think that is from zero to about 12 months um size clothes and then turning the camera around again i am wiping down his the top of his dusty drawers and dressers here and then turning the camera around again i am trying to put all of the clothes in his closet um the clothes that I was putting in there were still his small clothes. And then over here, I'm just trying to hang everything that needs to be hung because those clothes on top of the white dresser right there, they've been there for months. 
and I, I haven't touched them. So I am finally fixing it and I'm done with this room. Alrighty, on to the next room. This is Carlin's room and her room compared to Rizo is a little extra more messier, you know, because she's older. She's a girl. She has more stuff. She has much more clothes. And so here I am um, cleaning up under her bunk bed um, that white plastic uh drawers over there they're my mom's um that's where she puts her clothes when she's here so i just I'll leave it like that i kind of like just cleared out the couch there and on to her dresser area um i just oh it got cut off i just cleared out the top of her dresser and the box on the bottom left over there those are clothes and bags uh from when we went to great wolf lodge a long time ago okay you guys as you can see i'm in clarlin's room and from the clips earlier um this girl has so many so many stuff like i can't even i just finished it took me about like 45 minutes to clean just this side of her room like that's her bed right there and everything her dresser and stuff but um i'm not done with this side so i will go ahead and do that okay you guys so on this side of her room this is where all her um all her big toys are her little doll houses are as you can see one two three four five doll houses is right there and i you know that's where all of her little teeny tiny toys are so i just have to like you know organize them and stuff i was gonna throw some stuff away but i'm gonna leave that up to her i filled a clear box of her toys and I'm going to ask her to pick which one she wants and which one she needs to get rid of because I cannot, I cannot handle that anymore. Alrighty, on to the next room, the kids' bathroom. Believe it or not, this bathroom is cleaner than the master bedroom and the master bathroom because those rooms are the most neglected rooms in this house. Um, so what I did here, I was just, you know, putting stuff away, clearing out the counter, wiping it down. I was gone here for a while because I was looking for Windex, but ended up, we were out of it. So I just ended up using Clorox wipe and it did the job. So I am happy with that. And that's that. Alrighty. So just outside of the bathroom is the walkway to the play area and as you saw i just collected all of the dirty clothes from the kids rooms and um i'm trying to clear out the hallway here um there's a whole bunch of stuff stuffed animals there i'm like re fixing all of like the small stuff and clearing the way and here is the play area i am just trying to you know as usual fold the blankets, clear everything out, putting stuff away, and yeah, that's that. Okay, so finally, the last step to my cleaning the upstairs is, of course, vacuuming the floors. Um, I haven't vacuumed in a while, so the vacuum's probably working extra hard to suck up all the nastiness on this upstairs. <laughs> Okay, you guys, it's about 2.30 in the afternoon now, and I am all done cleaning for today. I managed to clean Rizo's room, Clarlin's room, the play area, and the bathroom. Um, well, it's not the master bathroom. It's a kid's bathroom. Um, it only took me about two to three and a half hours to do all of that so it wasn't so bad um what do you call this the master bedroom up here will be a um, different story though that one i probably have to spend a day or two because there's a lot of things that i need to get rid of over there and yeah it's just it's not an easy task with the kids the only thing that i have to worry about with their room is their um clothes that they grew up 
the clothes that are too big, too small for them, I have to like get rid of them, either sell them or oh, oh, oh. Either sell them or donate Mommy, that's them. Too shiny. I know it's too shiny. You guys, I look like yucky, yucky today. Oh, oh, but that's but okay. Like, I didn't really have time to do anything with my face, you know. Because as you saw, I spent all morning and lunchtime um, cleaning. And this boy... It's his nap time, so mm -hmm. we're gonna go. I'm gonna go put him to nap, and then um, I have like maybe two, three loads of laundry to do. I know it's like never ending. Um, yeah, so I will see you guys later. Bye. So, you guys, right when I was about to load the washer, I saw towels in there that I totally forgot about, and you know, that is the pain in the booty to deal with so i had to rewash all these towels and put them back in the dryer and now i am folding them i'm putting them away and that's that's that hey guys it is about five in the afternoon now we're gonna do a quick costco run real fast um we are out of coffee can't be out of coffee we are out of creamers, we are out of water, we're out of some soda thingies, and we're gonna go get some dinner. Something to take home, Not we're not gonna eat out. We have to put the lights up today, tonight. All right, you guys, see you later. I know, that's good. Thank you for I'm helping, Carlin. Are you helping daddy? You guys are almost done? Good job. He's watching TV. You didn't tell me it was raining. I did? I know. Oh, it's cold. That's why I was thinking and I should have yeah, got Marlin, my Yeah, you're doing a good job helping daddy. Thank you. Dinner's almost ready, okay? Okay, Mom. Okay. See you guys later. Bye, Mama. Bye. All right, you guys. It is almost 7 o'clock at night now. I am just getting dinner ready. We are just going to have leftovers um, for dinner. Some leftovers, some not. Um, just got back from Costco about an hour ago. Rex and Carlin are doing the lights outside. I am getting dinner ready like I said the kids are gonna have rice broccoli and bacon for dinner and I am gonna have some rice and um, some beef penang uh, my co-worker or my friend dropped off some leftover um, from when she cooked last about a couple of days ago and she knows that you know Whatever she cooks, I eat. So I ask her for leftovers all the time because I miss her cooking. Because I used to work with her and I don't anymore. And where I used to work at, they always do potlucks and stuff. And she always cooks and everything. And she doesn't live too far away from me. So whenever she cooks, she asks if I want some. And I definitely said yes. So she dropped off some beef penang, some chicken curry, and um, a couple fried chicken drumsticks. So I'm just going to warm all those up and that will be my dinner and Rex's dinner. Um, yeah, that is what's happening right now. So hopefully we will start getting ready for bed in about an hour. Alright, talk to you later.